Good morning to all our viewers. We will be doing a few installments on our encoder testings that we perform here at Motiontronic. And we're doing this just to give our customers a behind the scenes peek into what we do here. Today we will be going through our data display page, which indicates vital information for us once we have communication with the encoder. So once we have communication with the encoder and we rotate our motor, you can see that we have mechanical angles and electrical angles, pole counts and a lockup. This is uh, critical information we use and this is how we realign motors once we have stripped them. So if I quickly do a U and a V lockup, you will see here that I receive an electrical angle. We record this angle before we strip the motor and this angle is then restored when we reassemble after our service. There's other critical information here such as incremental counts, serial revolution and position counts. Uh, we also have encoder status. Um, the software allows us to see whether we are receiving communication from the encoder, whether or not the encoder has any internal errors, and if it does have errors, what type of errors we are receiving. It also identifies the encoder automatically for us. So this will be the first installment and in the next installment I will show you how we test the incremental counts and serial revolution counts. Um, that's it for this session. Feel free to find more information like this on our YouTube channel, our Motiontronic page on LinkedIn, or you can head over to our website at www.motiontronic.co.za.